and I'm Nora and welcome to season three episode three of Joe with, with the flow. flow today we're making an almond spice cake yeah what's interesting about this one is um, not only is it just a spice cake but it also has almond paste in the middle of it um, so that's yeah definitely unique yeah I never had it warm until I mean not that the cake will always be warm but like yeah cooked just into something I guess right in there it also has toasted almonds in it and on it so mm -hmm. more of the almond flavor from that as well and some tasty spices yeah. <laughs> we've got a few different pieces going on with this cake and um, so while Taylor's starting with the parchment we're going to start toasting our flaked almonds uh, or slivered sliced whatever these are almonds so this week we are welcoming spring and easter and earth day and everything <laughs> it's a lot to do with being happy and springy so rather than make marzipan this time since we found on the case in the store um we're just going to use that since the recipe we used just made so much more than we needed um yeah so and this is even less people. Yeah. Than we did last yeah. Time, so. so we're taking the easy route here, but that's okay. And Hoping then, it will be easier to roll out. Yeah. And the recipe says either almond paste or marzipan. Yeah. So, so I guess we'll find out the difference if I can ever open this package. We looked at the ingredients of this almond paste, and it doesn't have eggs. Oh yeah. And that's like was the main ingredient of the marzipan that we made ourselves. So I'm curious if that's what made ours so sticky and this one not. Yeah, but this one's, yeah, it's like crumbly, kind of, yeah. Cloves? Yeah, cinnamon and cloves are the spices. I think we've done cloves, yep. It says it should pair well with the almond paste for a nice warm, toasty feeling, which doesn't feel too springy. But, <laughs> I don't know, the cake doesn't seem too wintry to me. I feel like marzipan's used a lot in like Easter dessert things. That's true. It also uses um, self-rising flour and two more teaspoons of baking uh, powder. All right, well, let's beat it up. Yeah, so far the batter tastes like Christmas, which I guess kind of fits in with Easter. It's <laughs> true. Tastes religious. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> so then what we're gonna do is pour half the batter in, smooth that out, and then somehow get this round right on top of it, and then pour the rest of the batter in. I'm feeling more optimistic than I thought I would, based off of our last encounter with Marco Pan. Yeah, definitely. Like, feeling... look how well this comes off of here. Oh. Feeling so much better than when we had to wrap a whole cake. In it. Yeah, and it was just like a sticky mess. Yeah, this I feel like it's just the hardest thing is just going to be lifting it up and keeping it together. But we've got four hands. I just had to think way too hard about how many hands. <laughs> I had to think like, what is she talking about? Now I smell it starting to toast. I think it was a, a temperature thing, probably. Being too timid. I know, but... <laughs> embrace to the toast. <laughs> embrace the toast. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna stop 74. Good we have this much to sprinkle on top. That looks... That's fine. The picture, I mean, there's a little more than that, but it'll be okay. Yeah. The inside will... I feel like, yeah, it matters more to have it in here. It's really quite good in here. Yeah, it is. Ooh, I'm excited. Me too. Do to about do. half, which is not going to be much. Yeah, enough to cover the bottom. Oh so, yeah. One little more just to make sure. All right, let's use our four hands. <laughs> it's like our forethought or forearms. <laughs> Loop. That was so easy. <laughs> it's perfectly. Look at that. We did it. Oh my god. Right. I'm so proud of us. Something was easy for us. It's so good. It's really good. It looks like there's nothing under it. You can't even tell. Mm -hmm. Whew. Huh. <laughs> That's real. <Yeah. laughs> Something went right. <laughs> Oh, 
almost an hour. We've been checking it and it looks pretty brown, so I'm gonna check on it now. I'm trying to make sure we don't overdo it. Bring back, yeah, I think, I think that's done. Cool. Sort of a strange glaze, yeah, I think, but I don't know that much about glazes, I suppose. Um, I've just never heard of like brown sugar, which would be essentially the equivalent, right? Yeah, and it has heavy cream in, or double cream, heavy cream for us. We bring this to a boil on the stove top, and then we will run it all over the cake and sprinkle the almonds on top. Give a little extra crunch. Yeah. Like actually, I'm pretty sure caramel has butter, sugar, and cream. Oh, it does? Yeah. No? Pretty sure. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think I've made caramel before. <laughs> oh, it's boiling. It's boiling. It seems weird. <laughs> Do it now, but... Alright. She's saying to do it this way, not just pour, because that could be bad. I think you should pour some in the middle. I don't want to just spread it. It looks like it's just spread. I don't know, it says drizzle. I know, but it's a lot. Yeah. And we want the whole thing covered. Get there. Okay. <laughs> you can go the slow way if you insist. Honestly, you just stayed thicker than I thought it would. Yeah, but I guess, yeah, like once I realized, like, oh, wait, we're just basically making caramel, it kind of makes sense, like, once it sets, it should actually be, this should be a pretty sweet cake, I think, hopefully. We just dumped a bunch of dinner on it. Now for the almonds. Oh, yeah. Artfully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wow. I like this one a lot, yeah. It's always nice when we get to do something to it, like mm -hmm. try to present it, you know? Yep. Not just have like, okay, there's a cake. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it looked when it came out of the oven. Should we do the like cooking show things where we talk about it for like five minutes? <laughs> no, no, you're just gonna, you're just I gonna mean, eat it. Because <laughs> it looks really fluffy. Mmm. Oh, I didn't know it was still warm. That's, that's such a trick. <laughs> Yeah, the sauce is really good warm too. Oh yeah, it's like a, it's like treacle pudding. It's like toffee treacle pudding. It's like that carameliness. It's like gingerbread men attached attacked a sponge cake. <laughs> and then melted? Definitely lives up to the name of almond spice cake. I actually don't know how much spice there is in it. When I heard almond spice cake, I was thinking more like the speculas kind of Dutch flavoring. It's not that much. Most of the flavor seems to be in the sauce. I don't know, the middle has quite a bit. It's very almondy and mm. like a toned down version of the spicy, whereas the top has the toned up spice. So there's a nice meeting of that. It's a little bit more grainy than I thought it would be, like, yeah. and not in a bad way. Like almost like it reminds me of um, a cornbread. Yeah. Or corn cake. Yeah, because I looking at it, I thought it would be fluffier, but it's pretty. Uh, it's still relatively dense. I feel like the sauce is outshining the cake to me. Yeah. Well, that's like okay. there's so much like flavor and just rich sugary molasses carameliness to the sauce that the cake on its own is a little a little dry. Would you eat it again? Um, yeah, definitely. But um, I'd like the marzipan to be colored next time. What can we talk about? Just generic things like the meaning of Easter. <laughs>